home to a confluence of two great rivers and the former colonial capital of Nigeria, Kogi State is no doubt a tourism heaven. To unearth this potential and to make its tourism hub, the state governor, Yaya Bilu, inaugurated a nine-man advisory council in Lokoja, the state capital, to underline the state government's ambition regarding this. The Director General of the National Council of Arts and Culture, Otuba Olusegun-Rusewe, was appointed the chairman of the council. Jide, the name Olusegun-Rusewe rings a bell in our tourism um, sector. Yes, um, it's both a tourism and a cultural icon. And um, it's good at what it does. It's experienced. Is uh, traveled across the world um, for the purpose of promoting Nigerian culture and promoting um, tourism as well in our country. And, and um, the governor of Kogi State took the right decision by headhunting him, though he still serves uh, at federal level, but he has headhunted him to help um, put those structures in place that will ensure that. Kogi State uh, benefits uh, from uh, the, the undoubted tourism uh, potential. And the governor has also put Dr. Ronkebelo. Dr. Ronkebelo served three different Nigerian presidents. She was working abroad when the governor brought her home to serve her state. She was the one who organized the NMMA in Kogi State. And everyone testified that it's probably the best organized award ceremony by the NMA in their history because the, the whole thing was conducted with so much class that people have come to identify with, uh, with uh, Dr. Runkebelo. So what is required now is for the modalities to be put in place. Kogi has tourism potentials. Look at the fact that the confluence, the, the Y-shaped confluence of River Niger and um, River Benue, two of the longest rivers in Africa, mm -hmm. actually came together, to together. in Lokoja, is one thing, one tourism uh, site that can be exploited. Then of course, Mount Party, where um, Lugard, Lord Lugard had a two-room residence and um, um, office he used at the top of that mountain. He had his two-room um, uh, residence at that time. And a lot of the um, missionaries and even colonial soldiers, European soldiers, were buried in Lokoja. Mm -hmm. So in different locations, there are burial sites of those uh, white people that our people can visit from time to time if they make them um, a lot a, a lot better. So this is what um, mm. our, our, our friend Ronsewe, uh, um, Dr. Ronkebelo and others should be able to work on and ensure that the state generates um, some some level of income uh, from tourism. Yes. I have no doubt in my mind that um, the governor made a very right, this very good decision. Because if there is somebody in this country who is um, who is an icon when you talk of tourism, it's Otumba Rushewe. Um, when he was DG of Nigerian Tourism Corporation, he, he did a lot. He did a lot. And he's well respected all over the world. I had the privilege of witnessing him in Cape Town, South Africa, when he was invited by the world body to deliver a paper. And I still remember vividly that I was very, very proud that this is a Nigerian, you know, because this is a, a world body of, of, of tourism I come all over the world. And everybody acknowledged that this is somebody who knows what to say. So if you can, if you can bring that kind of experience to Kogi, I have no doubt in my mind that it will put the, import, the necessary infrastructure on ground and then the, and then the, the plan that the state can, can, can execute. But I will, I will want to suggest that um, he, while, he's, while he himself and members of his committee are working on it, the state should also double their efforts 
in, in the, to handle security situations because tourism cannot thrive when the security is bad. Right. Security right. is extremely Absolutely. important mm. for you to encourage tourism. So okay. while, while they are working on that, the government should also work more on the security situation in the state. Mm.